Hi, my name is Heather. I'm going to be the APR and I'm going to be doing your musculoskeletal exam today. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. May I ask your full name and date of birth? Sure, it's Matthew James Coppola. It's uh, January 9th, 1971. Thank you, Matt. Sure. I'm going to go ahead and perform hand hygiene, then we'll get started, okay? Great. Throughout this entire exam, I'm going to be asking you questions about any pain or discomfort. Just let me know if you're feeling anything, and we'll take it from there, okay? Sounds so good. right now, I'm going to have you stand up, and I'm just going to inspect you. I'm going to inspect to make sure your head is midline. I'm looking at your shoulders. I'm looking at your iliac crest from the front and the back and I'm looking at your knees. And what I'm looking for is symmetry. I'm looking to see if there's anything that sticks out that I feel like we need to talk more about. Right now, everything looks symmetrical. Your head is midline and I'm looking at your knees. I do not see any inversion or external rotation. Everything is midline where it's supposed to be. I'm gonna have you turn around and I'm going to assess your spine. So I'm gonna have you go down and bend over, lift up your shirt. And you're gonna feel me touching your back and I'm just touching your spine to make sure that there's no curvature. And I'm also just going to palpate and just let me know if you're feeling any pain or discomfort. No. And everything looks really good. I do not see any deformities or any redness or anything like that. Right. So the next part of this exam, I'm going to assess your gait. And so what that means is I'm just gonna have you walk back and forth. I'm looking to see um, your swing. I'm looking to see the distance of you're walking and looking to see if you're balanced and everything looks good. I don't see any foot drop and I do not see any concern. So that means we can move forward to the next part of our exam where I'm going to look at your coordination. Okay. And so I'm actually gonna be standing next to you during this part of the exam, just in case there, you do feel you know, like you are unbalanced. All right. um, so we're gonna move this chart out of the way. Sure. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you come back a little further and I'm gonna have you walk, it's called a tandem walk, where you walk and you're gonna put your heel right in front of your toe, kind of walk in a straight line. Perfect, you're doing really well with that. You can do that coming back. And now I'm gonna have you walk on your heels. So just on your heels, just like that. <laughs> Perfect. And you can walk back and you look very balanced. Good job. So now I'm gonna have you just do a squat down, just a very deep squat. Good, and come back up. Perfect, you did really well with that. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the easiest so, thing to do. Yeah, that one was <laughs> You're balancing, um, but that's perfect. So the next thing I'm gonna have you do is hop on one foot and then the other foot, and just do a couple, and then change it and do the other one. You are doing great. And then the last thing we're gonna do is the Romberg test. And so to test you for that, I'm just gonna have you stand there with your eyes open for a second. And I'm checking for any swaying just as you're standing there with your eyes open. I'm not gonna be right next to you. I wanna have you close your eyes. And I'm gonna assess for any swaying. So minimal swaying is perfectly normal. Um, but I'm just making sure that you're not falling over and you are doing a great job. So I feel like you did very well with this part of the exam. So I'm gonna have you go ahead and have you sit down and we are going to assess your coordination. So what I'm gonna have you start off by doing is we're gonna do the finger test. So you're going to take your thumb and you're gonna to touch your index finger, your middle finger, your fourth finger, and your fifth finger. And you're, yep, you're just gonna go back and forth. Very good. And then I'm gonna have you, did you do the other one, Jack? Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you can do it at the same time if you want. I did, yeah. Okay. I was so. doing it at the same time, but <laughs> individually. Right. So now I'm gonna have you put your hands flat on your lap, and you're going to do what they call supination, and pronation. And you can start off slow, and then you can pick up the speed and go faster. Good job. All right, so I'm gonna have you tap one toe on the ground, and they call it a rhythmic tap. And so do that. Then I'm gonna have you do the other one. So keep tapping. Okay, very good. And then I'm gonna have you run your heel down your shin. So just extend your foot. You can just put your heel, pop your heel, up, and just extend that down your shin and up. Good. And you can do the other one. 
Very good. And now I'm gonna have you touch your finger to your nose. And now close your eyes, put your hand down. Close your eyes and do it again. Okay, very good. I know where my nose is. <laughs> Sometimes it could be a little tricky during that time. So you did very well. So if you, let's just say, we're telling you that you had any pain or discomfort, we would do some measurements of your arms and legs. And what that would entail would be going to your acromion process, which is right here, that ridge in your shoulder, and I would measure you all the way down to your middle finger. Okay. If you were to do your leg, your, uh, leg measurements, I would have you stand up, this is your um, it's called your actual leg and then your, your, your parent leg and your true leg length. And that would be to go right to the umbilicus and then go to your malleolus right here. And then the other measure would be your iliac crest to your malleolus right here. Okay. So we do not have to do that. So you can go ahead and you can sit down. Right now I'm going to inspect for symmetry and shape of your muscles and in your joints. So what I'm looking at, looking at your, your jaw, I'm going to be looking at your biceps, your shoulders, and I'm just checking that when I'm looking at your muscles, I'm checking for any atrophy, I'm checking for anything that looks like it's inflamed, I'm looking at your joints, and I'm looking to see if there's any crepitus, and look, or feeling any crepitus, I'm looking to see if there's any nodules, inflammation, swelling, and I'm looking at your wrists, your fingers, I'm gonna come over here and I'm looking at your shoulders, I'm looking at your, your elbow, your wrists, your fingers. I'm gonna go look at your knees and everything looks good. I do not see any uh, redness, swelling, disformity. There's nothing there. And now I'm looking at your ankles. So then we can move on to the next part of our exam, which is the actual range of motion. So we're going to start, I'm going to perform hand hygiene again, Mac. Okay. So I am going to touch your face for this one. Um, so I'm going to start right at your, it's almost checking for like almost like a lock jaw kind of thing. So I'm going to put my hands right here. Okay. So have you open your mouth, close your mouth. I do not feel any grating. Um, I do not hear anything. I'm going to have you move your jaw, extend your jaw out. Bring it, retract it in, and then move it side to side. Like this. <laughs> okay, you did very good. Now we're gonna go to your neck. So for your neck, I'm gonna have you flex down, extend back. I'm gonna have you rotate to the right, rotate to the left. I'm gonna do lateral flexion to the right and lateral flexion to the left. Now, do you feel any pain or discomfort there? No. Okay, perfect. So for the next part, I'm actually gonna have you stand up and we are going to do your thoracic and lumbar spine. So for that, I'm going to again have you bend over, touch your toes, and then I'm going to have you come back up and I'm going to have you extend back just a little bit. Good job. And I'm going to have you go to the side and then to the other side. And then I'm going to have you rotate to the right and rotate to the left. How did that feel? Any issues, pain, or concerns there? No. Okay, good. Now we're going to do your shoulders. So for your shoulders, I'm going to have you just flex up and set, extend back. Good. And then I'm going to have you, what they call it, they call it an abduct. So you're going out and then adduction where we cross over. And then I'm going to have you put your elbow in. And we're going to do an external rotation and an internal rotation. Okay, now we're gonna do the other side. And again, we're gonna have you flex up, extend back, swing it through, <laughs> there you gotta extend back. I'm gonna have you abduct and then adduct. And then we're gonna do your rotation. So I'm gonna have you just pop your elbow here. We're gonna do internal rotation and external rotation. Any issues with that? Any pain or discomfort? No. Okay, good. So now we're gonna do your upper arm and elbow. So with that, we're gonna go, put your arms here. We're gonna extend and flex, extend and flex. 
We can go back, rotate up. Any issues, pain, or discomfort with that? No. Okay, so we're doing the, um, and then I'm gonna have you actually put your arms out. And we're going to do supinate, pronate. How's that? It's fine. Any issues, any pain, discomfort? No. Okay, so let's look at your wrists. So for your wrists, we're going to extend, flex, we're going to do external rotation, internal rotation. If you want, you can even roll it around. How does that feel? Actually, probably feels good, right? It's nice. <laughs> it releases like the stress is there. For your hands, I'm going to have you put your hands out, make a fist, fingers out again. We're going to bring your fingers in, bring your fingers out. Any issues there? No. no pain, discomfort, or anything like that? No. Okay, very good. Now we're gonna do um, our hips. So for the hips, you're gonna extend the leg straight and then flex the knee to the top, to your chest. So I'm gonna stand next to you on this one. Mm -hmm. You're gonna put your knee up, extend, back, and then I'm gonna have you extend the leg back. Good, let's do the other leg. Up, extend, up. Now we're gonna do some rotation. Okay. Have your knee come up, rotate it out, and across. Oh. All right, so we're gonna do it again. Up, out, and across. Okay, how did that feel? Feels good. Okay, good. Now we're gonna do your ankles. So I'm gonna have you sit back down. I'm gonna have you take your shoes off. So for your ankles, I'm gonna have you um, dorsiflex down, toe down, flex it up. I'm gonna have you do internal rotation, external rotation, and very good, you put that down. This one, I'm gonna have you flex it, extend it back, dorsiflex down. We're gonna do external and internal rotation. Very good, everything feel okay there, no problems. Nope. All right, so now we're gonna test your strength. You did really good with your range of motion. There was no concerns there. I'm gonna have you, we're gonna do some strength testing, so you're gonna squeeze my fingers as tight as you can. I don't wanna hurt you. Okay. <laughs> Very good, so that's a five. I'm gonna have you press against resistance now, so I'm gonna test your biceps and your tricep strength. Make sure they can see me. So, I'm gonna have you, just bend your elbows like this. You're gonna push toward, you're pushing against my resistance, pull. Good, so your biceps and your triceps are five. Now for your leg strength, I'm gonna have you Push against my, with both legs, push, and then pull. Good, I'm gonna do the same with your ankles. So push against my, yep, push down, good. So his strength is five out of five. So Matt, that concludes our musculoskeletal exam today. You did great. great, do you have any questions? No, I think that was easy. All right, perfect, so, thank you very much. Thank you.